to prepare sulfur dioxide gas and study its physical and chemical properties. Materials required Concentrated sulfuric acid, dilute sulfuric acid, potassium permanganate solution, potassium dichromate solution, a laboratory stand, a tripod stand, a burner, a wire gauze, a trough, a double board cork, a piece of cardboard as a lid, spatula, a thistle funnel, a measuring cylinder, and two gas jars, two test tubes, a delivery tube, red and blue litmus papers, a round bottom flask, copper turnings. Take a round bottom flask. Add a few pieces of copper turnings, about 5 gram, to a round bottom flask using a spatula. Clamp the round bottom as shown. Place the tripod stand and burner as shown. Place a double board cork on the mouth of the round bottom flask. Place the gas jar near the tripod stand. Insert a delivery tube into one hole of the cork. And insert the other end of the delivery tube into the gas jar. Then, insert the thistle funnel through another hole in the cork. Take 20 ml of sulfuric acid in a measuring cylinder. Then, gently add 20 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid to the round bottom flask using a thistle funnel. Ignite the burner and heat the contents gently as the gas formation starts after some time. As the gas jar gets filled with sulfur dioxide gas, close the mouth of the gas jar using cardboard and let us study its physical properties. Let us note the color of the sulfur dioxide gas. We observe that the sulfur dioxide gas is colorless. Now, we will look for the solubility of sulfur dioxide gas in water. For this experiment, take water containing trough. Then, invert the closed gas jar and place it in the trough. Then remove the lid carefully. We observe that sulfur dioxide gas is soluble in water and it forms sulfurous acid. So, let us move on to study the chemical properties of sulfur dioxide gas. We will look into the acidic and basic properties. Place the second jar and connect it to the delivery tube and wait till the gas gets filled in the gas jar. Then take blue and red wet litmus paper. Dip the wet red litmus paper into the gas jar. We observe that there is no change in the color of the red litmus paper and we infer that the sulfur dioxide gas is acidic. Then dip the wet blue litmus paper into the gas jar. We observe a change in the color of the blue litmus to red. Thus we confirm that sulfur dioxide is acidic. That is. SO2 dissolves in water to form sulfurous acid due to which it possesses an acidic character. Reaction with potassium permanganate solution and potassium dichromate solution. Take 2 ml potassium permanganate solution in a measuring cylinder and pour it into the test tube. Precaution: Wash the measuring cylinder after each use. Take 1 ml of dilute sulfuric acid in a measuring cylinder and pour it into the test tube containing potassium permanganate solution. Precaution. Wash the measuring cylinder after each use. 
take 2 ml potassium dichromate solution in a measuring cylinder and pour it into the test tube. Precaution! Wash the measuring cylinder after each use. Take 1 ml of dilute sulfuric acid in a measuring cylinder and pour it into the test tube containing potassium dichromate solution. Make the proper arrangement so that the production of sulfur dioxide gas is ensured. Pass the sulfur dioxide gas into the test tube containing potassium permanganate solution. We observe that the purple color of the potassium permanganate changes to colorless when sulfur dioxide gas is passed. Sulfur dioxide is a strong reducing agent that reduces the purple colored solution to form a colorless solution. 2 KMnO4 plus 5 SO2 plus 2 H2O give K2SO4 plus 2 MnSO4 plus 2 H2SO4. Similarly, pass the sulfur dioxide gas into the test tube containing potassium dichromate solution. We observe that the orange color of the potassium permanganate changes to green. Sulfur dioxide reacts with potassium dichromate and sulfuric acid to produce potassium sulfate, chromium-3, sulfate and water. SO2 plus K2Cr2O7 plus 3H2SO4 give K2SO4 plus Cr2SO4-3 plus 3H2O. 